Back in 2011, I started a SaaS company called Taudet. We were pioneers in the sales engagement space. I was a solo founder. I took it from zero to seven million ARR. We raised from the likes of Andreessen Horowitz, Jackson Square Ventures, and other prominent angel investors. We scaled that company to 100,000 registered salespeople using the platform, and we sold it to a company called Marketo. Marketo was a market leader in the marketing automation space. I joined their executive team. We did a two-year transformation and then sold it to Adobe for $4.75 billion. Taudap and Marketo were both incredible journeys. Fast forward to today, I've been coaching SaaS founders. I've been doing videos on this channel on how to grow SaaS businesses. I've worked with founders anywhere from pre-revenue, pre-product, all the way to 100 million ARR in revenues. This got me thinking, out of all the principles that I teach, out of all the experience that I've had, could I do it again? Could I apply the same principles that I teach in this channel? And could I actually start a SaaS company today? So 12 months ago, I started two SaaS companies and took them from idea all the way to product market fit and revenues and customers, and now they're scaling. So in this episode, I'm gonna walk you through the three principles you absolutely need to know that I followed to start new SaaS companies and take them from idea to product market fit to revenues all within a 12 month period. And when you follow these principles, and by the way, I do have a bonus principle in the end for you, you will be able to hone in on your SaaS idea, take part of this incredible SaaS movement that's happening right now, especially with AI, and get to product market fit and to that next stage of growth. Intro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Unstoppable. I'm TK, and on this channel, I help SaaS founders like you grow your SaaS businesses faster with an unstoppable strategy. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I drop an episode every single Sunday with actionable strategies and tactics from the trenches on how to grow your SaaS business faster. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon, and you'll get notified every single time I drop an episode with the TK energy. Now, if you're already part of this community, for part of my SaaS go-to-market coaching programs, if you're using one of my software company software products, my people, welcome back. It's really awesome to see you over here. All right, so in the last 12 months, I took two SaaS companies from idea all the way to product market fit and revenues, and now we're scaling them. And I also did this before with Taudap, which was my original SaaS company, and that's where I learned all of the principles that I teach you in this channel and my go-to-market coaching programs when I work with founders. In this episode, I'm gonna walk you through the three principles that I followed to make sure that I don't waste months building the wrong product, and I can actually accelerate my path to product market fit. If you're excited to dig into principle number one, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and let's dig right into it. So principle number one is this counterintuitive is I started not with product, not with checking in a line of code, but I first started with market. One of the biggest questions that I always get founders to think about and that I forced myself to think about, even though I had a whole bunch of ideas, was what is the market I'm going after? Specifically, what is the urgent and important problem that I'm going to be solving for a specific segment of the market? Here's the thing, and this is true more today in starting a SaaS company than it was back in 2011 when I started Taudap. SaaS is crowded. There's so many competing ideas. There's so many SaaS companies. There's so many sizes of SaaS companies, but the market's also big too, which means there are just as many opportunities, if not more. But you still have to figure out how you're going to differentiate yourself. You still need to figure out you're not building a SaaS product that's just a nice to have. You need to make sure you're solving a problem that is urgent and important for the market that you're going after. And that's where I started. For each of my companies, I got super disciplined about what is the urgent, important problem that I'm solving and what is the market I'm going after and who are the existing players in that market that I can really differentiate against, that I have a chance to really differentiate against. Once I did that, then I moved to principle number two. Principle number two is also not product, it's actually go-to-market. I created my version zero of my go-to-market plan. Here's the thing, I meet a ton of founders who've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of hours, that's probably not possible, but they did spend a lot of hours on building a product that no one wants. And what they thought was, okay, I'm gonna build this product, and then I'm gonna hire an agency, or I'm gonna hire a fractional CMO, or I'm gonna hire that salesperson, and they are going to turn on marketing and turn on sales and just make it rain for my SaaS product. It's that easy. This is why so many founders toil away building products and they get stuck building in that one more feature trap and then never get to product market fit. And I didn't want that for myself because I have a coaching business. I've had success in the past. I have this incredible YouTube channel. I didn't want to waste my time building the wrong product. So I really wanted to make sure, get it right, and I picked the right 
right ideas to pursue and the market to pursue. So the next thing that I did is I followed my own principles of building the version zero of my go-to-market machine. This was super simple. What I said is like, okay, if I'm targeting this specific market, what I'm going to do is build an audience with that market. I actually started to seek out relationships. I started to put out content specifically for the market I was solving that problem for. And as I started to put content out there, I basically offered a lead magnet. I said, hey, if you want to learn more about this, go grab my lead magnet on referral automation or go grab my lead magnet on lead generation. And that fed into a mailing list of people that were interested in that market about the urgent and important problem that I was solving for. This did two things. One, it validated just at the surface level when I talk about this problem, do people care? Are people responding? Are they actually filling out a lead magnet form to actually learn more about this problem and get educated on it? The second thing it did is it allowed me to get into quality customer conversation. It allowed me to engage with these people, nurture these people and have real conversations asking them, about the urgent and important problem that I'm solving for. Asking them about what products they're already using. Asking them about what they still struggle with. Asking them about what their dream product would be. And I did this meticulously. Now, you don't have to start a YouTube channel like me. In fact, for these products, I didn't really mention anything about my SaaS companies on the YouTube channel. I went in towards LinkedIn, I went towards Twitter, I went through other channels to build separate audiences specifically for these products. And as I did that, as I built that audience, I gave them lead magnets that told them more about the problem I was solving for, I got them into a mailing list, and then I actually had quality conversations with them that helped me shape exactly what product I'm going to bring into the market that helped me validate whether my thesis of the urgent and important problem I'm solving is real and actually build the right product for them that was differentiated. As these two pieces started to come together, then principle number three came in. And don't forget, I have a bonus one for you as well. This was super important in my journey over the last 12 months. But before I go into that, let me pause here for a second. One, are you starting to get excited about building a SaaS business? I know you are. That's why you're probably still watching. Are you starting to get excited about this method? So many people follow that flawed MVP approach where they build that minimum viable product and then say, cool, I'm gonna now turn on sales and marketing and make it happen. And that doesn't really work. That's why the mortality rate is so high for SaaS companies. If you're starting to get excited about getting the market first, building that audience, really understanding how am I going to differentiate? Is this an urgent problem? Who are these people I'm going to sell to? Start building a mailing list of these people that I can sell to as the product starts to come together. You start to see the power in this. Can I just get a yes in the comments below? And also smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It just loves it when you do that and so do we. It just means the world to us when you do that. Also, if you're in this stage where you're honing in on your SaaS idea, you want to start a SaaS company, be sure to check out my SaaS launch challenge. It's specifically for pre-founders. You don't have to go anywhere right now. I'll tell you about it at the end of this episode. Let's go to principle number three, your favorite one and my favorite one. Principle number three, finally, is product. Now, don't get me wrong, I love product. Let's go to market stuff. Is super important to me, but it's a necessity. In order to win in SaaS and in any business, you need distribution, you need go to market, you need to understand these things. That's why founder led go to market is so powerful. But the reason I'm in this game, the reason I love SaaS is to build products because nothing is cooler than that moment when you're walking through the airport and you see someone working on their laptop and on their screen, you just happen to catch your product. That happened to me. I'll never forget the moment that happened to me for the first time. It is an incredible feeling. And that's why I get so excited about product, but you earn the right to build those products. So this is where principle number three comes in. You wanna make sure you're building the product, but in this case, by the time you're building the product, you've had a thesis on what market you're going after. You've had a thesis on what's the actual urgent and important problem I'm solving. You started to have a go-to-market machine with a mailing list of people that you're targeting in that market, and you've had real conversations with them about the nature of the problem, what else they've tried, what they hate about the solutions, and how you can differentiate. And that way, you can actually start a really great product. Now, here's the power in this. For one of my companies, it started taking off right away. I built the product, I started giving it to the mailing list, and people were like, oh my god, this is amazing, they started signing up. For the second one, it didn't take off right away. We built the product, we took it back to the mailing list of people, but they wouldn't buy. We tried different pricing, they wouldn't buy. So one of the nuances to this is you wanna start building the product and then you wanna start selling the product as early as possible. No matter how shitty the product is, no matter how not ready it is, even though if you don't have all the features, start selling early. The sooner you start selling, the sooner you start mentioning a price, the sooner you start saying, hey, we built this, you wanna buy, the sooner you're gonna get better data. A lot of times when you ask people, is this a good idea? They'll say, yeah, totally. 
you should totally build that. And you go build it and you go come back months later and you're like, I built the product you asked for. Here you are. Here's so give me some money. And they're like, um, yeah, about that. Listen, if you just add this one feature and they'll mention some obscure feature that you're like, okay, I gotta go build that now, then I'll buy. But they're not gonna buy. What you're really getting is a really nice way of saying no, a polite no. So it's super important to start selling early, start asking for money early and start pricing this early and getting into those sales conversations. Because two things, one, someone's gonna buy. There are gonna be early adopters that buy even the early version of your product. The first version of Tout App, it was an email product, but you couldn't even write HTML emails. It was only plain text emails, but people still bought. That's how I knew I was solving an urgent important problem. The early versions of Instant and the early versions of Megaphone looked terrible. But people still bought. It didn't have all the features, but they still bought because we knew we were solving it in a differentiated way. Here's the thing. As you start selling, some people are gonna say yes, which is awesome. So most people are going to say no. But those insights are gonna help you iterate on two things. You're gonna first iterate on your market thesis and you go to market. You're gonna figure out, am I selling this the right way? Am I messaging this the right way? Are we actually engaging with these people? But more importantly, it'll tell you what features to build. If they're like, look, I'll totally buy this, but this is the feature that's missing and five other people tell you that off your mailing list from the conversations you're having, then you know you gotta build that and you build that and you can sell it. And that loop of actually building and selling and iterating is what really makes this whole thing come together. So those are my three core principles that I personally followed over the last 12 months to take two SaaS companies from idea to product market fit, and now we're scaling them. And this is the same principles that I've taught over 250 pre-founders inside my SaaS launch challenge as I coach them on it. And these are the same principles that I followed the first time around. I bumbled my way through it the first time around with Tout App. There's one bonus principle that I want you to know as well that really came in handy this time around. The bonus principle is to think about two additional things as you're building your product and as you're going to market and as you're building your mailing list. The first one is to think about how you're gonna demo your product. Think about it. You're like, I gotta build this product and then I'm gonna sell it. You kind of backload all those things. And you're like, okay, how do I demo the product? If you front load some of these things, it'll actually help you build a better product. So think about how you're gonna craft your demo and how you're gonna demo your product. Even if you have wireframes in the beginning, think about how am I gonna use these wireframes to really demo the product? What's the flow? What's the most important feature? What's the core product loop? You also wanna think about what your pricing is going to be. The type of product you sell and the type of market you sell into, it's gonna be wildly different whether it's a $9 a month product or a $999 a month product. So think early, earlier than you're comfortable about your demo and your pricing. It'll save you a ton of time. It'll actually help you build a better product and a better go-to-market and better messaging and better market. All those things will start to come together. So let's recap the way I took two SaaS companies from idea, product market fit to revenues and now they're scaling. Principle number one is I first started with market. What is the urge? and important problem that I'm solving for. And then I built version zero of my go-to-market. I started building an audience, I offered a lead magnet, I started building a mailing list, and I started engaging with those people in real conversations. And then the third thing I did is I built the product. But as I was building the product, even before it was ready, I started selling it to my mailing list, selling it to my audience, and I started collecting data. And as I got data, I either got customers or I got really valuable information on how I need to iterate on the product that I'm building, what features to prioritize and what features don't matter, how do I 10x differentiate compared to the competition so they actually buy. And then finally, as I was building all these pieces out, I got ahead and really fleshed out what my demo is gonna look like and what my pricing is gonna be. I established a demo strategy and a pricing strategy, and that actually helped clarify my thinking on how I built out the overall product and how I went and took it to market. So now you know exactly the three principles that I've taught 250 founders, pre-founders, on how to actually start a SaaS company. And I followed myself just to prove I can do it again, and also I love this stuff, to take two SaaS ideas from idea to product market fit to revenues, and now they're scaling. It's super powerful. What you may not know is, TK, how do I do all this? How do I actually flesh out my market? How do I define my market? And how do I identify an urgent and important problem? I have some SaaS ideas. How do I hone in on the right SaaS idea in the right market? How do I build V0 of my go-to-market? How do I build an audience? How do I offer a lead magnet? How do I build out this mailing list? Just in a simple way so I can actually get into more of these conversations in a leverage way versus trying to DM random people. And how do I build the core product loop around my product? How do I sell my product? How do I structure a demo strategy? And how do I actually flesh out my pricing? Is it $9 a month? $29 a month, $99 a month. This is why I created my SaaS launch challenge specifically for pre-founders. This SaaS launch challenge is specifically for folks who wanna start a SaaS company and wanna follow this framework, this MGP framework. Instead of just building a product and hoping it sells, you wanna actually figure out market and then go to market, the V0 of it, and then actually build out the product and accelerate your path to product market fit and that next stage of growth. So if you wanna join this challenge, just go to tkcater.com challenge. 
It's a self-directed course. It's step-by-step -step instructions with all the templates. It helps you hone in on your SaaS idea. It helps you figure out what your V0 of your go-to-market is. It helps you go and talk to that market. It helps you figure out how to make sure you're building the right core product loop. It is an incredible course and I created it and then I've sold it and countless, actually specifically over 250 founders have followed it. And then I literally followed those steps myself. I used the templates myself to take two ideas from idea to product market fit to revenues and I'm now I'm scaling those companies. So it's incredible. Just go to tkkater.com slash challenge. If you got value from this video, which hopefully you did, if you're still watching, Go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you have a fellow co-founder that you want to start a company with, if you have team members, if you're part of a Slack group or a WhatsApp group with other aspiring founders and entrepreneurs that want to start SaaS companies, please share this video with them. We want to help as many SaaS founders as possible. We want more SaaS founders out there. That's, that's the whole point of doing this. So please share this with them. Also, I drop an episode like this with actionable strategies and tactics from the trenches. What do I mean by from the trenches? This is not theory. I did it. And then I coach people on it and I still coach people on it. And then I wanna say, I wanna prove I can do it again. So I'm doing it again. So it's from the trenches. And that's why these are so actionable. And so I drop an episode with actionable strategies and tactics every single Sunday. So be sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. That way you'll get notified every single time I drop an episode. And lastly, remember, everyone needs a strategy for their life and their business. When you are with us, yours is gonna be unstoppable. I'm TK, and I'll see you in the next episode or inside the SaaS Launch Challenge for pre-founders. Take care, everybody. And that way, you can actually start building a really great product. I had that backwards for a second. All right, let's do this thing.